Hi everyone, this is Lisa, and for this week's video, we're gonna learn how to sew on a button. Secret tip that I'm gonna be teaching you today is you're actually going to need a straight pen, and I'll show you why. So first, we're gonna start with threading a needle. If you get one that's got a bigger eye, like this one here, you can see it's got a relatively big eye, so I could actually probably thread that. Or if you have one with a smaller eye and you want to use a needle threader, what you do is you actually put the needle on the threader first, like so. And then you would take your thread and then put the thread through the threader and voila. Just that simple. So I've measured just about an arm's length of thread. Now I'm going to put a knot in the end of it, just a simple knot, and you just repeat the process a couple times, just so you have a nice big knot at the end of it so your thread won't pull through. You want to look at the other buttons, how the buttonholes are oriented. So as you can see, they're pretty perpendicular. The little four holes are pretty straight up and down, so that's exactly how we're going to place our button. So it looks like that. And you're going to start from the back, the side that is the wrong side of the fabric or the side that's hidden from view, and go through. And here, once we get one pass through, is where I'm going to show you a little trick. Lots of people will just sew on a button, but you forget that a button actually needs to have slack into it. As you can see, from this button here, it's not actually flush with the fabric. It's raised a little bit because you actually have to button fabric over top of it. So there has to be room for fabric to go underneath. So this is where your straight pin comes in. You're just going to use a straight pin. Hold it in place. And sew around it. So now every pass you make, that straight pin is going to be between your thread and the button itself, creating a barrier so that at the end, when we remove the pin, there's going to be a little bit of slack, and then we'll make a couple of passes of thread underneath the button itself to just kind of create an even more raised button, so that way we have plenty of give and the button will be functional. Let's so, go like this. Another thing to watch for too is there's many different ways to sew through the buttonholes. You can make a square, you can do X's. And so I always look at what the other buttons look like. And this one pretty much looks like X's. So that's what we're gonna do. I've just made two securing lines just to make sure the pin doesn't go anywhere. And now we're going to predominantly go in an X pattern to match the other buttons. The idea is to make it look as similar to the other buttons as possible so it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb or a replaced button, I guess what we should say. So here's where a fun little trick comes in. We've had our pin that's been holding in between the thread and the fabric. So what we're going to do is now it's time to create just a little bit more of a raise so that the button can function really well. We're just going to go from the wrong side. We're just going to stick it up and not actually go through a buttonhole. We're just going to put it so it kind of comes up underneath the button itself like that. But not actually going through a buttonhole. So it's just um, the thread is underneath the button itself. We're going to remove our pin, which has kept some slack in the thread. So now we can scoot the button up a little bit. See how we've got that slack there? Now we're going to take the thread itself, and I don't know why I always go counterclockwise, but I do. And we're just going to go like this a couple of times, round, and it creates a little bit as you can see, the thread is kind of winding around, just pull it tight. And that creates even more of a lip for the button itself, so it stands up and away from the fabric like the other buttons do. 
and now there's room to actually make it function like a button. We're just gonna hide our thread, we're just gonna go back underneath so that no one can really see what we did there. Pull it through. And we'll tie it off. So I just go, I find a little piece of thread from our previous stitches and just go underneath. So you go through your thread, make a little circle, and you pull your yarn through the circle, thread I should say. That's, and then I always do just one more little underpass just to kind of tuck it all in. That, and then we'll cut it off. See how our new button plays with the others. And as you can see, she's as good as new. Actually, I can't even tell which one I did. I think it was that one right there. But as you can tell, it looks pretty good. So there you have it, how to sew on a button. And um, hopefully that little tip of using the the pin and then creating that just winding the thread around will give you kind of a nice little edge